Will planets be empty in Starfield? Folks, welcome to the channel, and yes, talking up again about Starfield versus Star Citizen. And yeah, as you can see, I'm right now in my Mercury Star Runner. Very nice, beautiful ship. It hasn't got much use because the main purpose of this ship is using these servers for data running, but doesn't work like most of Star Citizen. It does look very pretty. You have little things here and there. It actually has a rec room that is worth checking out. Let me show you recreation. So you have uh, a chess um, piece here to play and moving one opens like a little um, a tunnel underneath so you can run and hide around it. Uh, you have also these things that don't actually work. They should but they don't and that's basically <laughs> all there is here. So typical of, of Star Citizen. Lots of things to look at that look very pretty and 99% of them don't actually work, right? For example, the gun racks that used to be something that uh, you could save your guns in. Again, something that will be removed, believe it or not. They will remove that very, very soon. It's actually been removed already. <laughs> it's just that my ship hasn't been respawned yet. But the purpose of this video is talking about planetary surface. These planets, you know, that you visit. For example, right now I'm wearing normal clothes because I'm about to exit my Mercury Star Runner into the surface of Microtech, which is a planet that has... Um, a significant amount of life, at least in theory, you have grass, you have rocks. Can I pick up a rock? Of course not. What are you what are you talking about? <laughs> Crazy person. Can I harvest the bark of this tree? Well, no. Can I pick anything here? Is there any kind of creature, animal? No. Over a decade has gone by and Star Citizen CIG, they could not be bothered to put any kind of life any kind of creature to have any kind of interaction. It would have been nice to see something like, you know, picking a piece of fruit, you know, just go fruit collecting, you know, give me a, a bit of a plant or something that I could just go. No, not the case. Um, and of course, it's going to be different for Starfield. In Starfield, yes, you will be gathering resources. You will gather rocks. You will, very much like in No Man's Sky, which is heavily inspired, by the way, as most of us know. But basically, you can interact with everything in Starfield, and you can interact with pretty much nothing in Star Citizen. That's why I'm surprised by so many of the of the fanboys and uh, and cult followers. Almost, you have to be very um, dedicated to you know seeing things a very certain way. Because how on earth can you possibly make a point about Starfield being empty, being someone playing Star Citizen? The planets of Star Citizen are absolutely empty. And, I mean, this one is the only one that has some actual, uh, you know, trees. I mean, they're celibate in Hurston, some vegetation. Uh, but none of them has any, any kind of life when you go walking. So, the thing about um, Starfield is that uh, Todd Howard revealed that only 10% of the planets, and keep in mind, it's going to be a thousand planets, over a thousand planets and moons. And of those... Only 10%, so about 100, will have life in them, okay? These will be planets that have vegetations, that have plants, that have animals. Just 10%, which is kind of realistic in terms... Well, it's not even realistic. Realistically, it is extremely rare to find any kind of life in space. But, okay, for the purpose of, of the game, yeah, there's going to be a bunch of them. Most of them will not have any... Um, any biomes, life, and so on. And again, talking about biomes, the planets in Starfield will have different biomes. So one will be, you know, one part will be like more like a desert, another one will be more like a jungle or a forest, right? Or a prayer or whatever it is. You will have different biomes, and that's super interesting. Uh, but going back to this thing about, oh, it's going to be empty. Well, it's not always the case that lack of life means that the planets will be empty. Uh, so yeah, maybe a planet is, like they say, it's a, a, a moon with no life, uh, and it's mostly a, a mineral and resource-rich uh, uh, moon or planet, 
it doesn't mean there's nothing else for you to do other than mine resources. Because given that this is a Bethesda game, given these are the same people that made Skyrim, I have no doubt whatsoever that they have explored what is it that's going to be happening in these places. Okay, there's no life. But what about random encounters? What about a base? What about a lab? What about uh, a pirate um, hideout. All of these things, which sound extremely cool, which is something that Chris Roberts and CIG have talked about literally for over a decade about how cool it would be. All of these things are already in Starfield. When you play it, when it launches in less than two months now, it's a month and a half, maybe a little bit less. But whenever it launches, all of those things will have been incorporated into Starfield. So, other than the sad you know, desperate attempt of, oh, but it's not multiplayer. Well, gave it a little bit of time. You will see Starfield being multiplayer before you see Pyro or any significant progress in Star Citizen, for sure, simply based on the progress we've seen already from CIG and how quickly mods and companies like Bethesda and so on, you know, provide what people want. And my original point still remains. Most people playing this game that I'm playing right now, this more of a tech demo rather than a real game, most of us playing this, we don't care about finding our people and playing them with them. We have done it every once in a while you deal with a PvP or with a pirate. It's not the highlight of you know, trying to enjoy your time playing a video game. At least it's not for most of us. Uh, and I mean it. It's definitely not the case for over 90% of people. We would much rather have a dedicated game, an actual game, to enjoy with a story, with role-playing elements, with something to do. Uh, I mean, I would love to start mining these things, build myself a little shack or a little house here, and just come visit this place. That would be awesome. Have a, you know a pad so as to store my Mercury Star Runner. You know that would be fantastic. But I know I just cannot do it here. It's simply not an option. Uh, it will be in Starfields. Those planets out of those 900 no life planets, which doesn't mean empty, I will be able to set a base there. I will be able to have, in one of those rocky moons with just minerals, I will be able to make my own life there. So a planet or a moon that is definitely one of those that has no life may have random encounters, bases, things to do, it's spaces to go into and have fun and do things. But beyond all of that, I can make my own gameplay, my own fun. It could be my, you know, it could be one of my many bases. It could be one of my pirate bases that I want to keep away from maybe prying eyes from some of those, you know, pesky NPC cops or, you know, security personnel or whatever it is. It is just so fun to imagine the things that you will be able to do in just very short time when a game is actually released, when a game is actually delivering what it promised instead of just talking about things that you don't actually have. So, guys, is it true it's going to be empty? Of course not. Starfield will be full of things to do. Is it true that it has only 10% of those plants with life? Well, Todd Howard said so much, I won't doubt him when he says that, but also keep in mind, when he says that, he's talking about this kind of thing. Vegetation, creatures, all of those things that you don't even have in Star Citizen, well, that's what he's making reference to. Doesn't mean that there's not stuff to do in those places. And I guess for many of us, those of us that enjoy them, the mining aspect, or especially when it comes to base building, will be depending heavily on you mining and gathering those resources. So you will be spending a lot of time in many of these uh, uh, quote-unquote empty or lifeless planets, uh, doing your own thing, ga gathering stuff, and you will be coming across um, uh, organically um, uh, across these you know, events that are randomized, that are just happening as you go exploring. A thousand planets, it's a lot to explore. I know No Man's Sky has millions, billions of planets, but in this case, it's more tailored, it's more role-play heavy, it's more story-driven, and in many ways, I will say, I like that. I think that No Man's Sky is fantastic, by the way. If you haven't played it, by God, give yourself uh, that chance, uh, because even if you don't immediately like uh, the aesthetics of it, maybe a little bit cartoonish, at least for me it was, if you give it a chance, you'll really start enjoying it, because it is so full of things to do, and the exploration is... Okay, clearly a factor. Uh, but guys, that's basically it. I just wanted to visit one of these planets, which 
I hope, because I'm not a hater, I want nothing more than to see this full of life, full of things to do. I'd love to go into my ship right now, pick a gun and go hunting, right? The yeah, creatures for their hides, for their skin, for whatever uh, rare uh, minerals or items or whatever uh, components or, or uh, ingredients I could collect from them or just go fucking berry picking for crying out loud. Really, sometimes it's frustrating because is it that hard? This plant here, this damn thing, couldn't I just click on it and pick up a space carrot <laughs> CIG was that so much that you couldn't do that in in over a decade anyway long don't get me started on these things you know how this it goes and it's it's simply not likely to change I hope it does I have my ships uh, I'm not you know giving them up or anything they're still there uh, but I'll be checking back on this once uh, Starfield launches uh, I'll be checking this maybe once in a every few months maybe a couple times a year maybe once a year given how slow any kind of progress is done here uh, but it will be so welcoming to actually have all of these things that we've talked about for so long and never could actually do in a game by a serious company, by one of the best companies out there. It's you know, unquestionable that they've done some of the best role-playing games, some of the best open-world games. And yeah, looking at Skyrim in this aspect, you no know, Fallout as well. But I think that's going to be you know, Skyrim in space meets No Man's Sky. And I fucking love that. Okay, folks? Subscribe to the channel if you want to keep seeing some of the content, especially once Starfield releases. I'll be doing a lot more on that. And if you appreciate what I do here, as always, subscriptions are welcome, comments, thumbs up, all of that. See you next time. Take care, guys.